Yo, morning guys. Hope everyone's feeling good today. Today should be a fun one. I'm gonna be going to uh, one of the most famous spots in New York, the Far Rockaway Rail. Been trying to get this trick on it for like, I don't know, eight years. Here and there, I've gone a couple different times trying to get an alley backside tail slide on it. I've landed onto the bunch, got close, but never rode away, and it's always just like eating away at me in the back of my mind. So recently lost 35 pounds. So I've been at like 170 now for two, three months. I feel like I've been skating the best of my life. So I bring that up just because it kind of like led me to wanting to try this rail again. Feeling lighter, just skating way better. Yeah, I've been skating in the park, feeling good. This trick popped in mind. So later today, I'm gonna go try it. But yeah, right now I'm just warming up. Gonna keep things light. Just get the legs moving. Try to nolly back tail like the big ledge here and do a bunch of them. You know, just to get the blood flowing a little bit. But yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, so just came to give a quick update. Skate Across America photo book. Been working on that nonstop for months. I feel like I've worked harder at that than actually skating across the country. But I'm really psyched on how it's coming out. I go through basically day by day, talking about my interactions, who I met, what I was feeling in the middle of the desert and all that type of stuff pairing it with like my iPhone photos and professional photos that my friend Matt and Josh took. So I'm really psyched on how it came out. Also, Tony Hawk wrote the foreword for it, which is just unreal. That was, my first skate video was propaganda back, you know, that came out in like 91. I didn't see it till like, you know, 2000s or whenever I started skating, but I would watch that video on loop. So, you know, Tony had a bunch of different sections in that video. So it's just cool. 25 years later, the first skate video I watched, you know, the guy I was watching skate right in the forward for my, you know, Skate Across the Country book. So, incredible moment. I'm psyched, I'm psyched for the book to come out. Um, if you guys want to pre-order, I'm going to be doing signed copies of that. So, uh, I'm not sure if the website and the pre-order will be available by the time I'm posting this. But yeah, pre any pre-order is gonna have a signed copy. So um, yeah, I'm psyched for it. And yeah, psyched to warm up the legs a little bit and uh, yeah, finally get this trick today. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely gonna be a hot one today. Nolly's feeling good though. Maybe we'll get some uh, Nolly back tails on the big ledge. Okay, Nolly back tails feeling good. Just got a couple in a row, first try. But my phone overheated, so I might need to get one of those umbrella things because it's way too hot right now. All right, let's try to get another one. All right, let's see if we can get a nolly back tail on this little handrail. It's hard to not want to like push till exhaustion, but energy for later. But yeah, feeling good, feeling consistent with them. So yeah, gonna rest up and then head to Far Rock. Yeah. 
Security you want to schmooze them? Like the old times? <laughs> you, got, you got a 50 spot in yeah, your pocket? I brought cash this time just in case we got private security. <laughs> How's it feeling? How's it look to you? It looks big. Bigger than I remember, but it's definitely possible. You're gonna go like five times as fast too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, you, you. Last time you were like stakes on me. If you get it, I'll buy you a steak. A what? I'll buy you a steak. All right. Ooh, what a go. steak! Man, we talking ribeye, not like porterhouse or anything. <laughs> Deal still on the table. Nostalgic right here. I got some. De I got deja vu. Oh, man. I got deja vu. Come on. Right. Oh my God, it's too far. Broke the ice. You were right there. go Need some ass pads. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying. It's just I, every time when I'm not here for a couple of years, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be easy. And then I get here, I'm like, oh, we're out of here. Yeah. You locked into that one so good. It just doesn't feel consistent. Like the pop keep missing, and I'm not standing on it. Mind, I wanted to go the regular. Oh. Ow. 
That was a great lock in. That was too high. That was a good one. Backside power slide. What are you doing? No, I'm going to put the phone up to it. <laughs> Damn, yo, it looks so good on the VX. Yeah. You were in there. That was a rough one. Oh, I think I'm good for now. Come on, I need this drink. <laughs> Same thing happened the last time I tried it. Is that it, 90? Yeah, same one. It's just coming off in the tail slide without It's because I think mentally I want to go the regular, but like just the momentum the throw. The speed is keeping you off the heat. So both my palms just got wrecked. All right, guys. No good on the Nolly back tail. I thought I was going to get it. Couldn't. Uh, same feeling that happened last time, too. I came here like 100% sure I was going to land it. And then, uh, I don't know, something about the speed it takes for me to get up there just throws off my nollie. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but my legs are getting too weak to really give good attempts. So, don't feel like getting hurt. I'm going to save it for next time. <laughs> this will be an ongoing series on my channel. Every three years, I'll come back and try it. <laughs> I feel like 55 years old trying to get this trick. But, uh... Damn, that's a bummer. All right. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, we're back. A couple days later, um, didn't think I was gonna be trying this trick again for a while, probably like a couple months or something like that. But I don't know. Yeah, a few days later, my body's feeling better now. I had some time to think about it. And I just, I need to get this trick over with like while I'm in that mode and it's just like locked in my brain, so. Yeah, going back there right now. This morning I went to the skate park and just practiced a bunch of like full speed nollies over the stair set just to get that popping motion burned in my mind. Yeah, uh, today it's, it's gotta go down. I gotta just be finished with it, so let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. Got it. I'm gonna do it. Whoa. 
way more control right there. Oh shit. That was crazy. <laughs> What's different about every other shit, time you yeah. tried this? Um, I, I, I practiced nollying the set and doing a clean nolly at the skate park. And I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. I mean, I thought that was a given. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe I landed. <laughs> you want to see it or what? I, I honestly don't even care. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I'm taking Okay, so it's the next day and I thought I got away from that like scot-free. Like usually I never leave a session without feeling like completely destroyed. I landed the trick, felt good. I wanted to try Nolly Backtail Shove, but I was like, you know what? Just, I don't know, something feels off. I feel like I'm gonna get beat up and you know, let me just walk away with the trick I wanted. That's it, not keep pushing it, which is rare for me. And um, yeah, I left, felt okay. And then like an hour or two later, we're at the skate park and my foot just started killing me. And then I realized the try before I landed it, I must've hit like a hot pocket or something. Cause, uh, and I mentioned it like in the vlog, I was like, ah, it didn't feel right. Well, yeah, after my adrenaline like settled in, you know, just went away foot started killing me completely swollen black and blue so now i'm just chilling icing it i don't think it's anything too too serious but yeah i mean i thought i was like all right cool like i'm being disciplined not killing myself and uh yeah it turns out <laughs> it probably would have been a bad idea if i tried shove out so um but yeah it always feels good like the injury never uh hurts as much when you landed the trick. So I don't even mind icing my foot right now. I'll take a couple of days to chill. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, got the website completely set up for the book. So it's available for pre-order now. And it's a huge help if you guys do that just cause I'm self publishing this whole thing. So if I get like an idea of how many books to order, it's just gonna be a lot easier. So anyway, appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll put a link to the website. It's a top comment or in the description. So see you guys in the next one.